Hi my lovelies, I hope we're all well. So I'm going to do a print and cut today and I'm going to do it on holographic printable sticker paper. And I'm actually going to do it in the air too. So this holographic printable sticker paper is fantastic and it will work in your air 2, your maker, the explore 3 and the maker 3. So I've just got some images here. This is the image set, We Love Cricut Cutie, and I'm just going to insert them to my canvas. I've already got a couple that I've already created. So I just want to show you how I can create an offset for these and also change the colors because they're all set to cut at the moment. So first of all, I'm gonna create the offset on this one. So I'm gonna select that very back layer come up to offset and of course with offset you need to have Windows 10 you need to be in the latest version of design space and you need to be on the new canvas it only works on desktop it does not work in the app we're going to select offset and I'm going to keep my offset as 0.1 inch which is what I've done all of them as I'm going to select apply and I'm going to change the color on that to white and then all I'm going to do is draw around that and I'm going to flatten it. And what I'm doing is I'm flattening all of those cut pieces to that back piece. And then what it will do is it will print them all as you see them, but it will cut out just that offset. So I'm going to flatten. The same with this one. I'm just going to get that back piece. I'm going to choose my offset. I'm going to apply. And you'll see we've got a few cut out pieces there. I don't want those. So I'm just going to go to my contour, which is at the bottom of my layers panel. And I'm just going to hide all contours so that then becomes just a solid shape. I'm going to change that to white. And then again, highlight and flatten. So it will print it as you see it, but it will cut out that offset. And then for this one, I just want to change the colour on that heart. So I'm going to select just the heart in my layers panel, come up to operation and click on the colour square. And I can then change that to red. And of course, if I want to bring the advanced menu down, I can make that even redder. Then I can select that back layer, add my offset, apply, change that to white and then I'm just going to flatten and because I'm flattening to that background offset it will print them as you see them but it'll only cut out that offset I've then got my sticker sheet here which I've made the maximum print and cut size so that's 6.75 inches in width by 9.25 inches in height and I'm just going to change the colour on that quickly so that we can see where we're placing our cuties. I also want to add some text to my sticker sheet, which I'm not going to cut out. It's going to be part of my sticker sheet. So I'm going to go to text. I'm just going to write my text. I'm going to change my font. And I've got only kerned font selected. I'm going to unselect that because I don't actually want it kerned, so I want to see all of my available fonts. And I'm going to select Cache Pro Heavy. I'm just going to increase that letter spacing just a little bit. And I'm also gonna change the style to bold italic, and then I'm gonna change the color on it as well. Once I've got these where I want them, I'm gonna change that rectangle back to white. And then using the keyboard, I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to select the rectangle and my text. And I'm going to flatten my text to my rectangle. So it will cut out the rectangle, but it will print that text. I'm then going to go to arrange and center back. And of course, I've already flattened each of my stickers to their background. So then what I'm going to do is draw around everything and I'm going to attach. 
If I now flatten those cuties, all that's going to happen is that it will print everything as you see it, but it will only cut out that rectangle. So I need to take each of my flattened stickers and I then need to attach them to that rectangle. So I'm going to select attach. So it will print everything as you see it, but it will cut out the outline of my cuties and it will cut the rectangle. We can then go to make it. I've got my air two selected. As I say, we're gonna do this on the air two, but you can do this on your explore three, the maker three and the maker. We're going to send to printer. I'm using my Canon today, which is my A3 printer, which I love, but it does do A4. I'm going to turn my bleed off because I've flattened everything. There isn't a bleed anyway, but the bleed is basically a cut buffer. But I'm gonna remove that and I am going to ensure that I select my use system dialog. Quite often when we're getting a bad print or our materials are getting stuck in our printer, it's because we haven't used the system dialog. So I'm going to select print and then you'll see that my print settings actually come up. I'm going to go to preferences. I'm gonna change my media type from plain paper to photo paper. And I always choose glossy too, just because that's the one that I find works really well with printables. And I'm gonna change my print quality to high. So this is the holographic printable sticker paper. And this stuff is great because it goes in the laser and inkjet printers. And I've used it in both. So I've used it in my laser printer and my inkjet. So just to show, that is it through a laser printer. And then I've actually used my mink hot foil on that. And there's our little cuties all ready to go. Now for this printable sticker paper, it's actually a, quite a strange setting. And I've tested this lots and lots. So I'm just gonna search pearl, and we're going to select pearl paper with a pressure of more. And this is the best cut setting that I have found for this printable holographic sticker paper. So we're gonna put it on a green mat and you always want to give this sort of five minutes just to dry with an inkjet. And we're then gonna brayer that on. I would always use a brayer or a non-stick roller, not a scraper, just because you're dealing with ink. And as I say, you want to let it dry for about five minutes. So I've got my premium blade in there. Don't forget, we're using the cut setting pearl paper with a pressure of more. We're going to load that up and then it's going to scan our registration marks and then it's going to start cutting for us. I'm just going to turn my mat over and I always remove my material that way. Try not to overbend your mat because you can snap it. So I like to come at it from different angles just to make sure I'm not overbending it. Now we've done what's called a kiss cut. So we've not cut all the way through because we don't want that with our stickers. So we're able to peel these, but what that does mean is that we've not actually cut through on that rectangle. And you can't have two cut settings for one cut. So we're just gonna get our Cricut trimmer. And there we go, we then have our stickers 
and we can peel back and if we come in we can just peel that back and we can then remove that from the sheet but keep everything else on there. As always thank you so much for watching, please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, give the video a thumbs up, if you've got any comments or questions leave them below and I'll see you all soon. Bye!